tanks are always considered steel fish on the battlefield. Equipped with strong firepower to support infantry, destroy enemy armor targets. However, securing a large number of tanks in war conditions faced many difficulties. Therefore, replacing them are light armor vehicles, fast maneuvering with firepower equivalent to main battle tanks, which are anti tank missile carriers or a tank destroyer. In West Germany, in the early 1960s, a tank destroyer armed with anti-tank guided missiles was built, the Jaguar I. The Jaguar was intended for use in the large-scale armor combat anticipated during the Cold War. The Vickers is one of the larger and best anti-tank missile carriers developed during the Cold War. The chassis of the Jaguar I is very similar to those used on the Zat Panzer Ken I and Mader. The Jaguar uses a crew of four which are seated in the fighting compartment in the front. The missile launcher is mounted on the roof and the drive train is placed in the rear. The vehicle is operated under full armor protection, protects the crew from 30mm autocannon fire. NBC and fire extinguishing systems are standard. A total of eight smoke related structures are fitted. The Zagwar 1 is armed with a single K3S launcher for firing hot missiles up to 4 km. Zagwar 1 carried 20 hot missiles, which was later replaced by an improved version, the Hot 2. The launcher is connected to an automatic loader. As a result of automatic loading, the rate of fire is 3 rounds per minute. Secondary armament consists of a MG3 machine gun in the bow and another fitted onto the roof. The armor protection systems was reinforced by attaching additional stair plates to the frontal part and sides of the hull. The systems are outfitted with air filtration and ventilation systems and have radio communications equipment. The track chassis provides the Jaguar with a good cross-country ability. A Daimler-Benz 500 horsepower diesel engine provides propulsion. The Jaguar has maximum speed of 70 km per hour forward and in reverse. It is not amphibious.